Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Uh, today we have a review on the uh, Huawei Mate 20X and uh, specifically it's for the uh, EMUI 10.0. This is the new uh, update and it's a pretty uh, a well uh, welcomed upgrade. So it's a very good upgrade in my opinion and first off first thing I've seen is the smoothness of the animation and how the, the animation is really really fast here so simply you can just you cannot swipe from the middle to get notification but you have to raise your finger at the top and get the notification from here and as you can see it's very very smooth 60 frames per second which is really nice in this huge phone it's very very important and uh, this is one of the most best thing about this phone the so so the okay so EMUI 9.1 the version before that was actually a little bit clunky uh, sometimes that you see the drop from 60 to 30 to 30 frames uh, when you swap between apps and opening apps and closing other apps but in case of the EMUI 10.0 I noticed a very big upgrade when it comes to the uh, uh, smoothness and liquidity of the uh, software so this is one of the big best things about it now before I just continue about the other things if you click on the Wi-Fi here, you can see how fast it opens up and closes. But sometimes when you have it, let's say for example, it's opened, right? And let's just see, wait for the Wi-Fi to connect. Okay, it's connected right now. So if you just keep uh, playing with stuff, like for example, if you open this from my, uh, this application, Jazz, and uh, I just decide to turn off the Wi-Fi. Look at this. So it takes time to turn off. Uh, I think this is uh, a bug maybe Huawei can fix. So you can open it and close it at the same time, but if you open it for a period of more than maybe one minute, two minutes, and you try to close it again, it's gonna take around maybe a few seconds to turn off. Uh, yeah, that's one of the things that I've noticed uh, on that. So other than this, there is no bugs. The, 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 the battery life is really I believe it's better than before although this phone is actually new for me but as you can see the battery life here is 9% and it was it, it was around 10% and I used it from from 10% to 9% for around maybe 30 minutes so uh, I was just playing around and stuff and I, I was like this battery life is really really nice I know it's a 5000 million battery but the optimization of the software with the hardware I mean while wow, we did a great job now what I'm going to do later, I'm going to drop a, a video regarding the the App Store of Huawei. It's called, uh, let me show you, if you open any game, any other stuff, usually it pops up on the left side here. So we just wait for it. It's called, I think, called the App Gallery. Yeah, this is the App Gallery of Huawei. Now, you will notice now while well, we're actually promoting the, their tablet, the Mate, uh, Mate Pro, and my, I mean, we as users, okay, we as users, we actually want to have Google software, right? So we are used to have Google software, we used to have the Snapchat, uh, we used to have uh, the uh, YouTube, Instagram, uh, and WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the most important thing, I think, in my opinion. So we're gonna look at <clears throat> in Huawei App Gallery later on in, in another of the, another video. I'm gonna check all the things that we need to have in in the App Gallery, in addition to the things that's already there. So stay tuned for that video. Now let's go back to the uh, EMUI uh, 10.0. So one more thing that I actually enjoy is the speakers. Now the speakers, as you can see, it has a dual. Uh, separated uh, speakers with the dual amplifiers that actually uh, shoots very very great audio it's the best phone for audio so far you can check that in Dx DxO mark the mark this phone is very is the one of the top if not the top phone for the audio um, I cannot just play right now but maybe I can just show you a, a sample now I'm shooting this video with the uh, realme x2 pro one of the best phones. I'm gonna review the Realme X2 Pro as you can see here. But let me play some Sky Mobs. So, just give me a second. 
Okay, this is Sky Mobs. Uh, this is maximum volume so maximum volume there is no hiccups there is no distortions there's no uh, problem with the speakers it's very clear pure and very high quality this is one of the actually positive you can get out of this software as well so I really appreciate um, you know this actually update now what else you can have with the, uh, the EMUI 10.0 so I'm not saying I'm not gonna look into the patch note and tell you what is it what does it give you what does not I'm talking I'm talking just by experience so if you want to look for my experience from the phone uh, versus the older software this is what you what you're gonna get faster software opening you see this one this one so this calculation was done before like I, when I turned my phone completely and open it again I just found this calculation so it does store the data here and I don't see any kind of hiccups or problems so this is one of the best thing you can have uh, the recorder let me just let me remove this thing so recorder here uh, look at this we have wireless projection eye comfort so eye comfort people were was requesting to have a better eye comfort it didn't change in the uh, this software update it's the same as the eye comfort before nothing happening here uh, we have NFC <clears throat> we have our wireless projection we have screen recorder now people requested in the screen recorder to have a, a separate uh, front camera video for you to record and let's see if it actually works no actually it's the same screen recorder you can just uh, mute the mic so you can record from the inside of the phone but if you click on the mic then you can record inside the phone as well as outside the phone so you can talk while recording but if you close it now of course if you turn off the mic and record the the quality of the sound inside the phone is very very high and very very great and uh, let's turn off the recorder so this is uh, actually what I want to show you today about this EMI uh, 10.0 it's very nice overall software fixes and smoothness uh, I really like it when it comes to the camera so let's take a look a quick look at the camera camera didn't change that much they just changed the way the icon uh, icons work as you can see here the sliders so you can just go all the way to the ultra wide or you can just go all the way to 30x and uh, so the quality of the image didn't change that much it's just the software tweaks and uh, designs and stuff like that so let's take a look at the pro mode the pro mode is the same no additions they only change the animations we have micro uh, monochrome sorry we have HDR 3d panorama super macro now super macro is actually pretty nice if you click on it because it has this uh, let me just show you this area over here so super macro if you just get close to it like right here you can actually get even closer so you might just go 3x super macro now if you go 3x you might see very very tiny details let me just show you what kind of details we can get here and if you tap you can auto focus you can see this auto focus over here so it's very very uh, clear that you can just go super macro and even deeper that you can zoom in in the super macro uh, that's very very nice when it comes to it now what else did I notice okay this is one of the critical things about the EMI 10 in my opinion again it's from my opinion so if you're using like uh, emulators like for example PlayStation 2 or Dolphin this update actually very very nice it actually enhanced the, the gameplay so let me just show you PS2 emulators if you go to the PS2 emulator you can see here the icon this is the app gallery so you, you can see uh, they, they give you trying to advertise the app gallery so we're gonna talk about this in another video but here you can see the uh, the engine or the whatever software tweak they did it actually improved the gameplay on the Demium PS2 as well as the Dolphin emulator if you wanna if you like playing video games or PlayStation 2 games on your phone or uh, or you know the Dolphin emulators in your phone you'll you'll notice uh, 
a small improvement when it comes to the smoothness of the gameplay which is really very very welcoming when it comes to the software now that's it about it that's about it Netflix works in in full HD very very great software no problem at all let me just show you the updates so far software updates so it's looking but this so this is guys the March 2020 patch and this is the as you can see this is the uh, patch number 10.00191 and as you can see the number here it's very nice so far I hope Huawei sort things out with the United States when it comes to the Google but as you know today's <laughs> conflict with the United States is still growing especially with the um, stuff with the virus so anyways thank you guys for watching and see you guys later